हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एक्सप्लोर नेक्सॉन वीडियो सीरीज हियर वी विल एक्सप्लोर द न्यू 2020 X Nexon XZ Plus O facelift version vehicle. To watch all the videos about this, you have subscribe the channel below and press on the bell icon. You will get notifications as soon as I upload new videos. So there may be some glitches in the videos as I am not a professional auto video maker. So I will try to. explore this all new nexon in detail so this is the top end version of the nexon xz plus o variant so let us see one by one first of all let us see the external features and here we go with the complete dashing exterior look of the vehicle blue with white dual tone version so you can see the front look here they have given projector headlamps fog lamps tri arrow design so this design you can see all over the vehicle and can see nice cladding on the door which are also tri arrow designed so the back side is also very exciting fantastic look it has got back side wiper tri arrow design for the lights in the back side and the, the nexon badging is really fantastic tailgate has got one button here by which you can open the door you should have some key with you and the side looks and roof rails which add some beauty to the vehicle and the antenna side mirrors orvms with side indicators front headlamps our projector headlamps and they are also having uh, drls i will show you in a while and they also blink while the side indicators and these fog lamps also work as cornering lamps in the night while you drive now you are watching interiors of the vehicle here you can see the instrument cluster and the steering wheel which has got several control keys in it i will speak about it later ac vents central console with so many controlling buttons gear lever central console spaces for storage you can store something here you can also lift this so there are there is some more space with which you can keep some water bottles and all those things in this side a good space is given here in the central console with armrest and uh, you have other storage places in the door also they include some umbrella space which i felt is a bit smaller one water bottle you can keep it there and this is the glow box and uh, in this version you will get cooled glow box this has got one tray inside you can keep some records and all those things over that tray or some tablets uh, as it is given with the ac facility it uh, will uh, give you the extra pleasure one 12 volt ac charger has been given here and one more usb port for connecting it to the infotainment system you can just directly insert a pen drive or something else to this usb port and one more uh, 12 volt charger is given at the back side passenger's seat i will show you that also so this is the second charging point for the back side passengers you have some good storage 
capacity for the back side doors as well child lock you have child lock for safety of the children if you keep it like this the passengers in the back seat cannot open it from the inside only it can be opened from the outside this is for the safety of the children so this is the sunroof which is a, a very special feature of top end version we can just drag this here or if you want to open it through the buttons you have three buttons here you can just press the button it will go i have to turn on the vehicle for that i will turn it on and i will show you that now if you press this button it's moving you can see the sky whole window or the glass has gone back if you want only to cover it with glass you can cover it with the glass and if you want to tilt it you have one more button here with the help of which you can create a small gap you can close it with the middle button so it is now closed and if you want to totally close it you can drag the door given at the top i'll show you the drl functions now this is a headlamp lever this is in the off position if you want to switch on the drls or switch off the drls which is already on see you can see here on the instrument cluster it is showing a green light that means drls are already on if you want to turn it off you just rotate it twice within 3 seconds it's gone now i will turn it on and uh, we will show you how it looks exactly so now the drls are the drls are on now because of the high daylight you might not be feeling very much but they are very attractive you can see them drls are turned on now and if you turn on the indicators i will show you what happens i have turned on the indicators and the same drl lights are blinking in a amber color for turn indicators so the same lights have two features one is drl and one is indicators they are fantastic and very beautiful i will tell you how to unlock the tailgate now you have one key dedicated for the same purpose here if you please press on this button now the tailgate is opened i will show you by going back now you can simply lift the door it will open then we'll close it and i will show you one more key with that when the key is in uh, within uh, even one and of middle range you can just open this by pressing on this button this will unlock see you can hear the sound and if you want you can open it close it so these are the two methods by which you can open the tailgate and there is one more method you can also open the tailgate with the help of the peps key you have a remote key of the car it has got one dedicated button for opening the tailgate if you unlock the tailgate so here you see the peps key of the nexon car which is very tiny and beautiful you have four keys over the remote one is for locking and unlocking this is for follow me home lamp this is for opening the tailgate so let us see how to open the doors and get inside the car there are mainly two ways to get inside the car one is just pressing unlock in the remote key see now i have unlocked the car and i can just enter the car by pulling this and now i will close and i will show you one more method i am locking the car while you lock the car so side mirrors orvms will close automatically and for now if i want to open without the key i can 
just press on the press the button given here so this will unlock the car so you should have the key somewhere in your pocket or nearby otherwise this button will not work so this is the second method with which you can enter the car